Hi everyone, happy Monday. Today I have a couple of shout outs and I wanna show you some previous Halloween decor that I've done in my last home. I'm not gonna be doing any this year, so I just wanna show what I've done because it can give you some ideas for decorating your home for Halloween. Before I get started on that, I have to ask, is anybody else just anxious for Yellowstone to come back? I have to tell you, my husband and I decided to start watching the seasons over again, and I really wish I would have waited to watch that last episode of season three. We just got done, um, was it Saturday, watching it, and I told my husband, I said, man, I wish I just would have waited for that, because now I have to wait till November 7th. I said, we should have waited till November 6th to watch that last episode. But man, that is major cliffhanger going on on that. And I am so anxious for that two hour season premiere on November 7th. I don't know if anybody else is, but we really do enjoy that show. Now let's get back to the video here. Uh, I do have a couple shout outs because like I said, since I'm not doing Halloween, you want to check out these two gals. The first one is Melanie Thompson and she does a lot of creepy Halloween, if you like that. She loves Halloween, and you know what? She also does a lot of Tuscan decorating normally um, for the rest of the year. So if you like Tuscan, you definitely want to go check out her channel and make sure you subscribe to her channel because you want to uh, see her regular decorating too, but she does a uh, fabulous, creepy Halloween if you like uh, the Halloween decorating. And the other gal is Indy Annie Jones, and I just love that name of her channel. She is a blast to watch. She does a lot of DIYs and on the cheap side. So, and she has great ideas and she dresses up. And I have to tell you, um, I love the one where she did, they did a, a bunch of people did a collaboration for the Mad Hatter Tea Party. And I love the Mad Hatter hat that she made out of a waste paper waste paper basket from the Dollar Tree. And it's a Mackenzie Childs type hat and it looks so neat. And it's also a, a tree topper is what you can use it for. So like I said, you w definitely wanna go check out her channel. She is a blast to watch. I, I really enjoy her channel. And when she tells little stories, uh, like she did this uh, one for the Sleepy Hollow DIYs, which I, I've always loved um, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow as a child, and I still do. One of my favorite ones to watch uh, during the Halloween season. And her voice is just so soothing because she read a few things from the book. And, you know, you're just going to enjoy her. So you want to go check out both of their channels, and I know that you'll want to subscribe to both of those. Now, on with the rest of my video. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be doing any Halloween this year. Um, you know, I had all those projects to do. The painting is getting done today. Yes, they didn't get it all done. They only worked Monday through Friday. <laughs> and Friday, it was so funny because they, when they left, because I told my husband, I said, they didn't finish the trim around the garage doors. And it was driving me crazy because they started it. And then they went to the back of the house and never came back and finished it. And that was just bugging me. I told my husband, I said, I'm gonna have to paint that. I'm just gonna have to paint. I can't handle it. I can't wait till Monday for them to finish that. Cause you can see definitely that it needed to be painted the way that they sprayed the garage doors. It got a little bit on the trim cause they were gonna paint the trim last. And you can see the brown on the white trim. And I'm like, I just don't, I can't handle it. And he's like, no, no, no. Just wait till Monday, let them do it. I'm like, okay. And then Saturday, uh, he goes, are you going to paint the, uh, the trim? And I said, you want me to? Because I will. So that's what I did Saturday. It took, I had to do three coats. So it took quite a few hours to do it. And I was up and down on the ladder. And boy, did my legs hurt after that. <laughs> so I kind of took it easy yesterday on Sunday. But I still have a lot more fall decorating to get done, of course, like my front porch. I'm waiting for them to be done with the house. So they should get done today and hopefully tomorrow or even later today, I can get out there and get it decorated. But let's go ahead and check out my Halloween decor from my previous home. And that's how the video is going to end out. So 
just check out all the pictures that I have here and I'm sure it will give you some ideas to decorate your home for Halloween.